Rural revitalization in China includes comprehensive revitalization in five aspects, industries, talents, culture, ecology, and organizations. These five aspects of revitalization are interrelated and complement each other, among which organizational revitalization is the guarantee. The top project of rural revitalization and a major task for the Communist Party of China to manage agriculture and rural affairs in the new era. Rural grassroots CPC organizations are the basis of all the work of the party in the countryside and the bridge and bond of the party to contact the masses of farmers. In Hongdu village, Zunyi city, southwest China's Guizhou province, the villagers had differences and contradictions over the development of the village. The members of the party branch had many heart-to-heart -heart talks with the villagers. Finally, under the leadership of the grassroots CPC organization, the villagers of Hongdu actively participated in the construction of the village, developed red tourism, sold agricultural special products, and founded Development Road of Rural Revitalization. Rural Specialized Cooperative is an effective economic organization to promote agricultural modernization and achieve bigger development scale and benefits. In September 2021, Sanjia Village, Tongchong City, Southwest China's Yunnan Province, established a specialized farmer cooperative to organize the masses to develop vegetable and fruit planting. Related technology, information and sales are managed in a unified manner, while the sales chain of agricultural and sidelines products is expanded with direct supply at supermarkets. Cooperatives have improved the management level of organization and increased people's family income. As dynamic and creative unofficial organizations, social organizations play an important role in the construction of rural governance system in the new era. Shujin Village, Chongming District, East China Shanghai, has introduced public welfare social organizations to promote the development of villagers and set up handwoven projects to help unemployed women without income increase their employment skills. Encouraging and guiding the extensive participation of industry associations, foundations, voluntary organizations, and other social organizations will not only provide professional support for the development of rural undertakings, but also provide important financial, material, and technological support. Among the villagers' self-governing organizations, the Villagers Committee, as a grassroots organization for villagers' self-management, self-education, and self-service, is an indispensable and important force for the revitalization of rural organizations. In 1980, the villagers of Jose Village, Chiha City, South China's Guangxi Province, established the first Villagers Committee in the PRC by secret ballot. Now the villagers of Jose Village have voted for developing new industries such as sericulture and aquaculture. The village committee has built bases, taken care of their development, and paid dividends to the villagers via contract. Village collective funds are used for road hardening and industrial redevelopment after open discussion and public disclosure. Rural grassroots CPC organizations, rural specialized cooperatives, social organizations, and villager self-governing organizations are developing in a coordinated manner on the socialist path of rural revitalization with Chinese characteristics. Facilitating organizations work as engines to accelerate rural revitalization. The path of rural revitalization is getting wider and the speed of development is getting faster. In the end, the fruits of development will bring more benefits to farmers in a more equitable way.